Good afternoon everyone. This is Joanne DeBalso from No Fuss Accounting Services. Today my video is going to walk you through the process of how to be able to create and send an accountant's copy of your file to your accountant. Um, in a nutshell, the accountant's copy, uh, what it does is it creates a dividing date in your QuickBooks file. Uh, meaning that if you send an accountant's copy with a dividing date of June 30th, your accountant can review, make changes, and adjust January through June, while you can continue in real time and adjust your file July through your, the current date um, without having to worry about it affecting anything that the accountant is doing. Um, when the accountant is done making their changes, they send you back a file that you can then import into your system and I'll be uploading a separate video on how to import that accountant's changes file. So let's get going here and on the screen my in my QuickBooks file for No Fuss Accounting if you start off at the file menu you're going to drop down halfway to accountants copy and then down to client activities and um, for this video I'm going to show you how to just send the accountants file by the save file function. Um, what the save file function does is it just saves the file onto your desktop and then you actually have to attach it to an email yourself. The second option actually is another option that allows you to use the QuickBooks servers. If you would like to do this route you can go ahead. It's pretty much the same process with the exception of um, you have to enter an encryption password and you need to make sure that your accountant gets that encryption password that you set to it. Otherwise they won't be able to open the accountant's copy. So, um, But we're going to go by the first one because this is the easiest one that most of my clients like to use. And you hit save file. You choose accountant's copy um, versus the portable or backup. You're going to hit next. The next box here, set the dividing date, is where you're going to drop down and choose your dividing date. For this purpose, it's going to be um, June 30th, 2011. If you're sending a year-end file to your CPA, you're going to want to choose, obviously, 1231. 2010 if you're doing 2010 12 31 2011 if you're you know at the year end for 2011 for this case we're going to say it's just June 30th then I'm going to hit next and now it's just going to prompt me to close all it's going to automatically close all the screens um, this next screen is where you can browse and you can save the file wherever you want um, as you can see I've done a couple of test ones before and I'm just going to delete these out. But I usually just save most of my files on my desktop. Why? Because everybody knows where the desktop is. It's easy to browse to if you're in Outlook or if you're on Gmail or Hotmail, whichever you use for email services. So I'm just going to hit save to save that file on the desktop. If you don't normally save in the desktop and you're used to using your download file, then all you need to do when you're in that window is just browse to wherever you feel the most comfortable saving your file. Um, the important thing is just to make sure that when you are in your email application that you hit attach file and then you browse to wherever you have saved that file. So, and then send it off to your accountant. Um, this is going to take a few minutes to boot up um, and when it does complete you will see that there is going to be a new message across the top. Uh, next to where it says no fuss accounting services of course it'll be your business and it'll say parentheses accountants changes pending and that's fine and you want to keep that there until you actually um, get the accountants changes file back and check out my next video I will show you how to import those accountants changes and um, get them all into your system and and make sure that that's done correctly. Thanks for checking out my video and um, have a great day.